The survival of cocoa farms continue to be under threat following activities of illegal mining. Chief Executive of South Cocoa Board, Joseph Boahin Edu, called on the security agencies to up their operations against Galamse in order to save the cocoa industry. To inspect the progress of the ongoing mass pruning exercise, the chief executive of South Cocoa Board, Joseph Buahin Edu, decried the destruction of cocoa farms by operators of Galamse. The cocoa, which is the backbone of the country, so more or less it's the economy of the country that is being destroyed. And these are clear saboteurs. Yet, we have recalcitrant uh, citizens who are, you know, uh, still bent on engaging in illegal mining. If the backbone of the economy is destroyed, then what is the fate of this country? It's sad. And um, I think the uh, security agencies will have to, uh, you know, step up their, their activity, their operations on these illegal miners. Because if you are not careful, they will destroy the entire uh, cocoa industry. The sustainability of the cocoa industry in Ghana continues to be challenged by the activities of illegal miners. These cocoa farms look like trenches dug by soldiers during war times. The impact of Galamse on cocoa farms is beyond description. Frightened at the approach of the cocoa board team on their base of operation, the miners quickly took to their heels in different directions, leaving behind their tools and machinery. Cocoa plays an important role in Ghana's growth and poverty reduction as some 800,000 farm families are employed in the sector. Everywhere we go, farmers are complaining that um, they are finding it very hectic dealing with these Galamsey operators. They come, farmers are not interested to give their land. The next time they go to their farms, the farms had been already invaded and then vandalized. You know, we cannot have a lawless society. It cannot be so. I'm using the opportunity to call on the security agency to step up their efforts in dealing with Galamse. The crop generates about $2 billion in foreign exchange annually and is a major contributor to government revenue and GDP for Ghana.